winter boat building. Anyway, we're back here building a tent. Uh, Flynn gave me the metal construction. I've been adding on all the wood. Put up lights for the winter. I want to heat this place with two electric uh, heaters. I don't know how many cubics of air got a heater over here, but I'm going to double insulate the whole business. Here's a lead pod. Finish that one. It's looking good. So quite a fair share of uh, woodwork in there and material. I think it will hold up. Anyway, epoxy, winter, I don't know, they say it doesn't July. So, making this huge thing, yeah, gonna have plastic on it, in and out, both sides. I want to have an airlock of about five centimeters in the middle. Hoping it will do the trick. Thinking of uh, <coughs> only epoxying this boat, no fiberglass. There's a lot of, uh, I don't know, slim hull, looks good. Leapod, looks good too. Nice tent. Two layers of plastic, one in, one out. Hold some in between them there, you know. Try and, had to put up all these bloody fluorescents over here everywhere. All this electrical blah blah. Gonna be <coughs> minus 20 over here in a couple months, and I'm gonna be fiberglassing and epoxying and I don't know what. So, been putting about, I don't know, three, four days into this tent now. Hoping those slings will hold my plastic nicely. Uh, got a tension over there, I invented that today, pull the strings tight, one here, one there, and you're good to go. Anyway, this is it, eh? This is the pro. I wanted to be ready for next year sailing, spring, April, May, uh, maximum, I hope. <clears throat> 90, 94, 96, I don't remember, centimeters of headroom inside the main cabin. Yeah. Then the other ones get lower. Over there that goes up 11 centimeters, so my deck. So then I got this and then comes up 11 and goes like that. Gonna have a floor up here in here. And then no floor over there, only luggage under the bed. Plywood beds over here. Sleep that way or sleep that way. Or if both boards are down, sleep in the middle. This is a, <clears throat> a night video and it's uh, kind of difficult to move around. Yeah, looking good, eh? 
two watertight compartments in the front, solid bulkheads going to have uh, those, uh, whatever they call, those caps for inspection or inspection caps or whatever they call inspection hatches. Put a couple in here, there, I don't know what, so I can uh, open for ventilation and clean out any water that's accumulated at the bottom. Dry it up, pick it up with a sp I don't know. Kind of designing this boat as I'm going. I like that leap pod though. That's a beautiful hull. Poplar ply, half the weight of Okume and all the others, but a lot of construction inside to give it the strength it needs. So I'm coming out probably with 20% more weight of a standard stitch and glue Okume boat, for example, but I think I'll have double the strength or something, or maybe even more. Ocean cruiser, I want strength. I prefer working with light apply that is not as strong but then I'll just put in a lot of frames and woodwork and stuff to back him up anyway winter boat building ahead of us I'm gonna go sailing soon so we Stopped boat building for a while, been working, making money, jobs and shit like that and now I'm back into boat building so the first thing I had to do is build up this tent over here via in Bulgaria, it's been already dropping below zero and uh, cold weather's coming up so no way others need to heat up this place epoxy doesn't dry in the cold but I'm gonna do it anyway that's what's happening with us big tent be ready in a couple of days and we're back to the epoxy all the best